I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my channel. Here is a question from one of our subscribers. We need to find highest common factor of the numbers 18, 24 and 75. I am going to use Euclid division lemma. This method is one of the most efficient method to find the highest common factor. It's kind of repeated division. Let us see how to do it. So let me begin with the numbers 18 and 24. We'll first find the highest common factor of 18 and 24. And using that result, we'll find the highest common factor between 75 and that number. Now it begins by dividing repeatedly one number by the other. So we'll divide 24 by 18. Now 18 times 1 is 18. The remainder which we get here is 24 minus 18 which is 6. Right. So you subtract, you get a remainder. Now, so 18 is not a factor of 24 because we get a remainder here, 6. We'll continue with this process and now we'll divide 18 by 6. You get an idea, right? So now we'll divide 18 by 6. Now 6 times 3 is 18 and the remainder which we get here is 0. That means that highest common factor of 18 and 24 is 6. Now we will check if 6 goes into 75 or not, right? So we'll do, now we'll try between 6 and 75, correct? But the process remains the same, the numbers change. So we'll divide 75 by 6. So we have this number 75, we are going to divide it by 6. Now 6 times 1 is 6. You can do it in two steps, right? So you get here 15 and then 6 times 2. That means 6 times 12 could have been tried, right? 6 times 2 is 12. So, but it doesn't remain. It is still not a factor. We do get a remainder here, which is 3. So we'll follow this step again since 6 is not a factor of 75, so it cannot be the highest common factor. So we'll continue with this process of division, and now we're going to divide 6 by 3, right? So if I substitute 6 here, 3 times 2 is 6, and the remainder which we obtain now is 0. That means 3 is a factor of 75 and 6 both, and therefore, we get our result, which is 3, correct? So that becomes our answer. So we get the highest common factor between the numbers 18, 24, and 75 is 3, correct? So that is how you get it with this special division. It is the fastest way of getting the highest common factor. There are other techniques also like prime factorization and writing or listing out all the factors and then picking up the highest common factor. This is far more the best way of doing it. So I hope now the steps are clear. The idea is you could start with any two numbers. So you try out using these two numbers first and then whatever you get, find the highest common factor between that number and 18 any two numbers can be picked. You will always get the same result, right? So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.